Make sure your doll hospital is fully stocked, that way the people that need them have them available. Share this video, that way those that are stuck at home have a new craft to do. Alright guys, so for this craft I am using shop towels. These are just like paper towels, only they are much stronger so they don't rip as easily. So they are thicker and they're very soft. They have blue and I also am using white. So I'm doing two different colors. This one is kind of like the Vivo paper towel. So again, it's soft and it's much thicker and it doesn't tear as easily as a regular paper towel. But any paper towel you have on hand will work no matter the color. The other thing I am using are these recycled elastic bands. As you can see, they still have the knots on them. I always save these when I find them on products that I buy, like flip-flops or I don't know what else they come on, but they're always like holding two things together. Always save these. You probably have some lying around the house. So you'll need these, the paper towels, and either school glue or hot glue. Okay, with the blue paper towel, cut out a square. It's going to be about two inches and a quarter on every side. With the white paper towel, cut it a little bit longer, so maybe two and a half inches, just so you have extra material to work with. With this little square, you are gonna fold it over and under about three times, accordion style, and press the creases firmly so it stays in place. And in case you're wondering about this wonderful funky nail that I have, well, I'm stuck indoors, so I had to improvise. <laughs> Now take your white square and cut it in about half an inch strips. Just to make sure that all the strips are really close in size. You can always adjust them later. Now you will take your white strips and glue them to the top and bottom of the mask. You want them to hang off about halfway as you go. That way you can fold it on to the back side. Now you can use white school glue, it'll work just the same. It'll just take a little bit longer to dry, but if you know me, I love using hot glue on pretty much everything. And there's that nail again. <laughs> so shiny. And to the bottom layer. Press all your folds back into place. And now flip your mask over, and you are just going to fold the white paper towel onto itself. Before we move on to the sides, go ahead and hold your mask and cut off the excess white paper towel. We don't need that. It will just bulk up the mask. All right, make sure all your folds are pressed firmly and now we're gonna take the last two white strips and we're gonna glue it on the side, but just do the front side first. It should look like this so far. Almost like a bandage. All right, now flip it onto the back side and we're not gonna fold over the paper towel yet. Take your elastic bands and cut them about six inches long. If you are using a doll that is not American Girl or our generation, you will need to measure behind its ear all the way to the inner cheek because these will loop behind the ears. Now we're back to the back side of the mask. I'm going to place two little glue dots right here on the inner side, right at the corner of the white. Then I'm going to take my elastic and I'm going to stick it in the glue but have it at an angle. You see how it comes out of the edge right there? Perfect. Now bring it around the front and place it in the second glue dot. Again, so it's coming out of the corner. Don't have it coming out of the side or straight up and down. You want it at an angle. And now we're gonna close the sides. Just press it together until the hot glue has dried and repeat on this side, starting with the two glue dots and your elastic. And our mask is complete. This is the back side. This is the front. You see the two elastics? They will come out to the side and they will flip to the back side. And you can take all the masks that you create and store them safely in this printable box. The printable is available on AmericanGirlIdeas.com. I have printed mine on photo paper, but you can also use a thick cardstock. stock. 
Help protect the front line with these DIY surgical masks. These masks will help those that need them in your doll hospitals. Share this video, that way those that are stuck at home have a new craft to do. If you're subscribed, make sure the notification bell is turned on, and as always, just craft it.